All right. Well, I've seen a lot of postings and questions recently about how to set up your own home solo mining pool. So today I'll show you how to set up your own home solo mining pool. I'm going to use VMware on Windows and use the Umbral operating system. I'll do everything on my computer so you can follow along with me and I'll post down below links to all the software that you'll need. So let's get this going. So the first thing we need to do is download Workstation by VMware. This is free software, but you will need to create an account with Broadcom to do this. If you already have an account, enter your username and password here. Otherwise, go up to the login and register for a new account. Again, the account is free. Just have to give them your email address and solve the CAPTCHA. Now, once you're logged in, we're going to click on the free software downloads available here link. And this will be all the way down at the bottom. VMware Workstation Pro is the one you want. Now, of course, we're working with Windows for this setup, so select the Windows edition. And then select the latest release. 17.6.3 is the latest release when this was being made. There you see VMware Workstation Pro for Windows. Go all the way to the right with a cloud icon and click on it to begin your download. Save your download somewhere where you'll be able to find it. We're going to install it next. Now we just need to install VMware Workstation. Find it in the directory where you saved it. Go ahead and run that install file. Now for the install here, you'll just select all of the defaults. There's nothing special for the install that you need to do. Just follow the bouncing ball with the next, next, accept the license agreement. You know, the standard stuff. Now, depending on how fast your computer is, this could be a fairly quick setup or fairly slow one. Now we need to get the install files for the Umbral operating system. I've got the link down below, so you can just click on that link and download that ISO file. This ISO file is a couple gig in size, so depending on your network connection, this could go real quick, could be real slow. Okay, now we're going to want to run VMware Workstation. Let's create a new virtual machine and take the typical setup. Now we'll want to set an installer disk image file. That's going to be the Umbral operating system ISO that we downloaded. Select that. And we're going to want to set our operating system to other and choose version other 64 bit. Now I just called this my Umbral OS machine name. And I'm going to set my maximum disk size. I'm going to set it for a 500 gig drive. Now this is going to eat up 500 gig of your hard disk. I'm also going to set it to store virtual disk as a single file. This makes it faster. And we're going to customize the hardware. We're going to set the memory. I'm going to set the memory on mine at 8 gig. You can go larger, but 8 gigs generally the least I'd recommend. And I set my processors to two processors to two threads per processor. Now, the network adapter needs to be set for bridged and replicate physical network connection state. This will make it seem like its own network adapter on the network for you to see. And then click Finish. Now, this is going to create this setup for us to install our operating system, but we need to edit the virtual machine settings still. 
we'll go in here and click on options up at the top there. We need to go down to advanced. There's a couple of settings here. One is set the firmware type to UEFI and disable side channel mitigations for Hyper-V enabled hosts. Then select OK. Now, once this is all done, we're going to power on the virtual machine. Now, this is going to start up the virtual machine and it's going to boot off of that operating system install disk that we set up. Now we're going to need to click in here so we have control of it and set the disk that we want to use as the 500 gig disk that we set up. For me, that was the ATA 500 gig. Now, this install is going to take a while, so I'm going to skip through some of it here so you don't have to watch all of this and we'll continue on when it's done with the install. Now, when the operating system here is finished installing, we'll strike any key to have it shut down. There's one setting that we're going to want to change now. We're going to want to go back in and edit the virtual machine settings. And go ahead and change that CD DVD drive to use physical drive. I actually don't have one on my computer, so I turn off the connect it power on. And then select OK. Now we're going to power on this virtual machine. The initial setup on this is a little slow, but you only have to do this once. After that, it's a very quick boot on a virtual machine. In fact, quite often you don't have to reboot it. You can just save the state of your virtual machine and restart it where it is. So right after this job system D finishes running, the operating system will be up and going. Now, once you're at the Umbral login, your operating system is up and running. So let's go ahead and open up our web browser, and we're going to want to go to umbral.local. This will find the Umbral operating system running on your local network. And from here, you click on Start, give it a name and password that you're setting up here. I've already got mine set up. You're all set and click Next. Now we need to install the Bitcoin node first. The Bitcoin node is necessary. It's the first part of running your own solo home pool. Now, once it's installed, let's go ahead and open up that Bitcoin node. There are a couple of settings in here that I like to set on my own setup. Makes things a little quicker, finding peers, connecting. The settings is over here where the three dots are, advanced settings. Go down to peer settings. I like to have broadcast your node to Bitcoin network to help other nodes access the blockchain. I like to turn that on. And of course, when I was recording this, I didn't hit the accept and save on this, which is at the very bottom. There's another setting I like to use under the optimization. I don't want to use up a whole bunch of disk space for the blocks, so I prune the old blocks and I prune it down to about 200 gig. That way I'm only going to use about 200 gig to store old blocks. I don't need the blocks once I've verified them and just keeping 200 gig is fine. And save and restart the Bitcoin node. Now, once you've made these settings, the Bitcoin node is going to go out and start synchronizing all the blocks from the very first block that was created till up to recently. Unfortunately, this is going to take, oh, two, three days, depending on the speed of your computer and the speed of your internet. 
my system here, this took me about 48 hours before I was completely synchronized with the network. So we'll go on after the synchronization is done here. Well, that took me about two and a half days and it's now 100% synchronized. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the App Store, select Bitcoin, scroll on down until you find Public Pool, and install this. Now it's gonna tell you when you install that you need the Bitcoin node installed, but we've already installed that. Now I'm gonna fast forward through the installation here so you don't have to watch paint dry. There, now it's all installed. All we have to do is click open. Now there's no real settings in public pool. Here is your address to connect to, umbral.local, port 218. Your username is gonna be your Bitcoin wallet address, dot your worker name, and the password's going to be X. Very cut and dry, very simple. So let's go ahead and open up my BitX gonna go in here to my settings and set the stratum host to umbral.local set my port to 2018 already have the user set up set the password to X there it is umbral.local port 2018 and set my password to X got to go down now and save my settings And then let's restart it. Now, this is gonna take a minute or two before it starts connecting and starts hashing. You can see where it's already pointed to the umbral.local. Let's go ahead and take a look at the public pool. I'm gonna paste my address in here so it see if it sees my worker. And it looks like my worker's still connecting. There we go. The XOS is now showing that I'm hashing. Let's go back into the uh, public pool and see if it's starting to see me. Got a refresh on it there. There, it's starting to show me hashing on the public pool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for 20, 30 minutes and let me see if it shows up on the public pool still. All right, it's been about 30 minutes here. You can see my hash rate showing up. And I can look up the individual workers. There we go. Your home public pool is now set up. Go ahead and go out there and start mining some Bitcoin. You're not going to pay your 2% to somebody if you find one. Still a lottery with the type of uh, miner I'm using. But it's a cheap lottery. All right, folks. Thanks a lot. Hey, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this. Go out and get some mining done.